completely. I, I get what Michael Rainey is saying because mm -hmm. if the shoe is on the other foot, if as a man, if we do that to a woman, mm -hmm. you know, uh, or you know, SA, oh, we going under the jail. I mean, look at uh, even though it wasn't an SA, it was still considered an assault with a uh, uh, ma major. What's his name? The actor, Jonathan Major. Jonathan Major, and he, mm -hmm. and he was running away, and he still got in trouble. You know, so yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, it's unfortunate. Whatever gender, you know, you should always, you know, try to keep your hands to yourself, unless if you, you and that person are like that, and that's your thing, you know. But, and you can t see the look on his face. He was like, I know he was caught off guard, like you know, yeah. like whoa, we, and she just like rolled up on him, like. I wonder what she was saying, you know, that's that's crazy. And to be on a live stream like that. Yeah. But I'm curious to know, I wonder what action, because he's still processing, I wonder what action he's going to take. Yeah. You think he's going to press charges on or something? Or? I don't know. I think he should. You know, usually um, when stuff like this happens to men, people don't really take it seriously. Yeah. Um, and some men don't. And some men, yeah, we don't really, I feel like a lot of men wouldn't don't report, report this. Don't report anything. Like, Imagine if this wasn't on live. He mm -hmm. probably would have never said anything right. about it. And you know so that's right. You Women, y'all can stop taking I mean, advantage of us. Yeah, so we got feelings. <laughs> we hurt. See, you're not taking it serious I, right now. <laughs> I, I, I'm serious. So I mean, like, I think that a lot of times people don't take it serious, or you know, when it comes to men, it's always like, okay, well, you know, uh, you're a man. Yeah, you're a man. Yeah. So you, you know, you just suck it up. And yeah. just, you know, go about yeah. it. So, And you'd be surprised. As yeah. a statistic, as there's men who get abused as well. Oh, yeah. They, just they don't, don't say anything. They don't say anything. So, and yeah. there's even times when they got abused and they called the cops. And some some instances, the cops actually laugh at the dude. Like, dang, you let yeah. her. She did that to you. They, they even laugh. But I guarantee you, if that was the other way around, sir, could oh, yeah. you uh, interla interlace your fingers behind your back, please? Right. You know, you would get clipped up real quick. You know? Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's just kind of crazy um, yeah. that all that happened. So yeah. Have, has that hopefully ever he's to you? no. Not really? I thought that dude went to jail. See, this man ain't taking it serious. I am, man. I'm is, we, oh people try God. to take it. You, you need, you need making to, a joke out of it. No, this is no <laughs> joke. But see, you need to tell him what happened when the dude. Oh when that janitor God. Look at this on guy. You. Look at this remember guy. Remember when you was putting the... You're, you're part of the problem, man. Remember you was, remember like, remember you so was putting the stuff in the closet? Think of the... And the um, dude closed the door behind you? What's that one actor? I can't think of his name right now. Um, he was just on The Breakfast Club. Um, he's like the big dude from White Chicks. I can't think oh, of his Terry name. Oh, Terry Crews. I remember when Terry Crews came out about it his assault. It was a man assault. that did it to It was him. a man that did it was it to agent. Him. And nobody was taking him serious. Yeah. Nobody was seriously like sitting there and listening to it because they were like, yeah, if a man did that to me, then, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah, it's going to be a problem. And it's like. Well, it was a problem. But like, you know, you never know what's going to happen, you know, what you'll do in that situation. That's true. With people. Because, true. you know, a lot of people have never been through that. But yeah, in the moment, um, you know, us just talking about it. Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, I would beat that. That dude's, you know, you know what. But at the same time, sure it's he like he wanted to. He said he wanted to, but then he yeah. tried to. He started to go that, and yes. I get why he's what he's saying because you no, know, he was on uh, Club Shay Shay, not yeah. the Breakfast Club. Oh yeah, that's what <laughs> I meant. That's what I because his size. Yeah, he's already, you know, as black men, we already stereotype, and he's yeah. a big black dude. Right. Even though he was assaulted, they may still look at him as less than. So right. I understood why he took the route he went, but also and went through the proper channels to expose what happened. Yeah, so. but also people were making fun of him. I oh remember. yeah, yeah, of course. I remember, of course. and people still probably because that's what people do. They're like, dang, you that big and you can't. It's like, bro, but you're not in his shoes. You're yeah. in his shoes. What I would mean, you have done if it was you? What if, in which situation? What what the what happened, to Terry Crews? What your oh, age? Okay, Terry Crews. I mean, man. like, I would have just like. I mean, I probably would have been like, yo, get off me. Like, Really? Yeah. I would have said, yo, get off me for sure, I think. Definitely. But again, you know, you never know what you're going to do so in that moment. Hey, here's my so, room key. Oh, my God. This man, see, this man is still making fun. <laughs> and, um, but I think that I, I was just watching the Kevin Spacey documentary on oh, um, HBO Max. Because he was Max. messing with little boys. Well, that's what they said, allegedly. Allegedly? But he's oh, okay. he's been exonerated of everything. Oh, okay, okay, so, okay. Allegedly, then. Um, 
Yeah, so I was watching that he, documentary. He's a good actor too. I like him as basically. He's a really good actor. On House of Cards and uh yeah, yeah. And the one he did with Samuel Jackson. Mm-hmm. That movie, he's he's a good actor. I mean, yeah, he's one of the best actors yeah. out there, man. And yeah. uh, he's been doing a lot of Gale. Yeah. You saw that? That was mm -hmm. pretty good. You never saw that? Oh, mm -hmm. that was good. Yeah. Yeah, but um he they made a documentary and they were interviewing all the all of his victims. Mm -hmm. And basically, I mean, some of the dudes were pretty like you Most know, dudes. yeah. I mean, so a lot of them were like military, former military, and they weren't. They weren't, you know, a part of the LGBTQ community. Uh -huh. But they like, were young. No, kids, I mean, I guess at the time they were, they were probably young. How are you getting? I don't understand how are you getting there. Were they were they in acting? They were in the industry. Okay, okay. And okay, so okay, he okay. was walking up. One guy was like, I think he was like an extra, and mm -hmm. like he was like being touched by. Kevin Spacey, yeah. Mm. And so, I mean, a lot of them were manly men, you yeah, know? Yeah. And they were like, yeah, when that happened, it was just kind of a weird situation, you know? Like, mm. you would think that you would be like, yo, and like, yeah. get up and hit him, you know, or something. But like, when you're in the moment, it's just like a weird thing. That's true. You like, don't one know time, do. yeah, there was one one guy who was probably the, the biggest looking in terms of like, buffness and... Mm -hmm in shape or whatever and he was saying that because he was inside of the movie saving private ryan mm -hmm. and so kevin spacey like invited him to the movie theater and they were sitting down and watching the movie and kevin spacey just kind of whipped it out <laughs> in the middle of the scenes where like yeah they're on like normandy and stuff uh -uh. and like was just like basically <laughs> is a <there>, what <laughs> In the middle of that scene, and he was just like, "Yo, what in the world is going on?" So it was just kind of. So this guy, mm -hmm. I guess, allegedly, Kevin Spacey messed with him previous. No, they never. No? He never. Oh, he never uh, so uh, assaulted him previously. Yeah, it's kind of a long story. You should watch the oh, documentary. Okay, okay. But um, basically, he was in. The, he's in the industry, and I guess they were like working together on something. And he was like, um, Kevin Spacey kind of hit him up and was like, "Hey, like." Let's talk about like you and the industry mm. and stuff like that. And they just happened to be by a theater. And Kevin Spacey oh. was like, oh, your movie's playing. Like, let's go watch your movie. So, oh. And so he was like, oh, okay, yeah, let's do it. Like <laughs> thinking like, yo, this is like yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. totally chill. Yeah. I mean, the dude had a girlfriend at the time. He made that known to yeah, Spacey yeah. and all of that. But anyways. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so in other words, he would use the industry as a ploy. Exactly. To, yeah. Alle to, allegedly. Uh, allegedly. So, as a ploy. He but you see, he said, uh, it's been found out. You said he got exonerated from. He it? got exonerated from everything. So that means that that means that uh, if he got exonerated, none of it is true. Then well, right? no, it doesn't mean that. What it just it mean? means that they couldn't find him, you know, guilty, guilty without beyond reasonable doubt. Yeah, because you know Kevin Spacey actually owned up to some of his behavior. He mm -hmm. didn't say that like he essayed anybody, but he yeah. owned up to some of the behavior being, you know, and then, 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 strange and then, weird. And, and then far as them yeah. being everything I heard is one thing. If he's with a man, that's fine. That's his mm -hmm. at his own discretion. Or, or if you know if they're like part of the LGBTQ or. They decided to do, but what I've been hearing allegedly was minors. Mm -hmm. You know that 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 these these uh, allegations were happening towards. Uh, man, I I would think that I would, you know, you like you don't know what would happen. If I would think, knowing me, I would especially if someone touched me, definitely male. Knowing me, reflect. Uh, reflex wise I would probably swing just knowing me but like you never know what happened in that situation yeah in Michael Rainey situation with a female doing that you really don't know you know I mean I mean Buster Rhymes a woman went up and tried to get his attention and grab him on the butt you, you remember that mm -mm. he's walking with a security and she went up and and and, gra and slapped him on the butt he turned around and threw his drink at her mm. Yeah, this happened, I think, either earlier this year or last year. He threw his drink on her. Then I saw an interview with her. She said, yeah, you know, she admits she was wrong. She said, yeah, he should have thrown his drink on me. You don't walk up on nobody. Yeah. I try to get it to walk up and, 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 you know, slap them on the butt. Yeah. Because, you know, if, if you know. Without men, their consent. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Men harass the women all the time, and that's not right. So. Yeah. It should be the same across the board, you know. But like I said, some men are perverts, so they ain't going to really say too much when women do it. Yeah. And some men really don't want women to do that, you know. But yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see what Michael Rainey's, you know, what he's going to do about this whole situation. Yeah, he we'll may see. be embarrassed. 
Oh I'm yeah, sure. I'm sure that is like an yeah. embarrassing moment, especially that it was caught online and then a yeah. bunch of people were sending it around. Like I you know, mean, I mean, low key, like I don't one, know what I would do. Yeah, yeah. You, you run up and you grab his jewels. It's, it's one thing if you if you run up on him, say even if she, she you know grab him by the waist and pull him in or something, he could probably laugh it off, you know. But you mm -hmm. grab the man, he just like yeah, you know, exactly, like, like shell shock, like yo, what you yeah. what you doing, you know. Mm -hmm. That's that's unfortunate for that young brother, man. That's that's very unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, man. But what did you want to you wanted to talk about boxing? Oh, uh, did you see the I, I missed the Adrian Broner fight. Nah. If it ain't it? UFC, don't count me in. Oh Lord. <laughs> All I know is Adrian Broner was talking mad trash doing the uh uh the 